Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Too Spooky for me, and welcome to a game called Antumbra. I'm pretty sure I said that right. So, uh, this game is a point-and-click adventure game, and I tested it out a little bit, and it seems really amazing. Like, sometimes I surf around on Game Jolt for games to play, and there's a lot of really shitty games, but I came across this randomly, and it looks friggin' awesome! So, let's read this. This game is content which uh, may be offensive and or disturbing. I've seen a little bit and that's very true, which means it's right up my alley. Also, the game is very hard and unforgiving. So, um, as is said here, it's not Flappy Bird, it's not uh, casual genocide. Uh, this is a game like Dark Souls of point and click adventure games or just adventure games in general. It doesn't say point and click. So there is always a solution, so don't give up. So let's see how well Eric Van Wilderman can survive this. Let's see if my don't escape thinking skills are going to help me through this. You woke up in a dungeon. It smells like death itself. You hear distant sounds of scratching and it's heading your way. What do you do? Well, the only wise thing to do is wait. <laughs> 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 I just love that whistling. There's like scratching like, eh, I'm coming for you. And the main character is just like whistling away. Oh god, that is just fantastic. Let's wait again. Hmm. You wait again. <laughs> you wait again, it's almost here. <laughs> Let's wait, what's gonna- <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, but I can't help it. It's funny every time. It came, you're dead, William. I guess, hey, we found out something. Our name is William. Okay, so this time we're gonna run in the other direction. I just want to show you guys that. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I played this game a little bit just to get a feel for what it was like. So, right here it says, as you run down the corridor, you find yourself in a metal vault. You can hear something running behind you. If you won't act fast, it'll reach you. Because this part stumped me right away. If we click any of these, the monster's gonna come and get us. So, there's stuff in the environment that we can click on as well, and I wasn't really aware of that. So, yeah, we're just gonna click that switch and it's gonna solve all our problems. This appears to be a door switch, which you quickly pull. Doors behind you close and you hear a strong bump and a loud inhuman, inhumane scream, or inhuman. I was gonna say inhuman, that doesn't make sense, inhumane, inhuman scream. Alright, so now we got that monster taken care of, so let's go forward. <laughs> Reality around you bends and twists. You find yourself in the middle of a forest. There is a path leading forward, but someone is in your way. He is wearing an odd mask. It's not a mask. Okay, we'll go forward. Man speaks. Don't go there, please, you can't. You will be hurt. I won't let you go. I love you so much. You are everything I have. There's punch him or go forward. Let's just try to ignore him. Don't- oh, you're saying the same shit. Okay. Can I click on you? There we go, see? The game wants us to punch him, but I don't think we're supposed to punch him. He is smiling friendly. Aura of understanding and compassion surrounds him. Yeah, that's great. It's good, but I want to go forward. And I can't go back! The only thing I can do is punch him, really? You, you punch him in the mask face. He takes the punch, his eyes bleed! You feel a sudden rush of satisfaction, you want more. This is terrible, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> can I go forward now? Can I punch him and he's like stunned, so can I go forward? Don't go- oh, he's still so nice after I punch him. I like, biff him in the head and he's just like, Don't go there! I'm worried about you, I love you. Well, not after I kick you. You kick him in the stomach and he bends in pain, but quickly recovers to his initial stance. Blood is pouring down from underneath the mask. It feels so good. This is terrible! I feel like- William, you're an asshole. Little William. Uh, do I gotta- okay, well he's still telling me not to go, so let's just slice his throat. <laughs> you slice his throat. He chokes and gags with his blood. Yet remains standing in your way. Just die already. Okay, no, that's- Hey, I sliced his throat, but he's still telling me to don't go there. Fine, we're gonna kill him and break his neck. His neck snaps like a dry branch. He died. He is still standing, even after death. But he's an obstacle no more. An ecstasy overwhelms your mind and body. This game is dark. That's why they made a reference to Dark Souls. Haha, <laughs> I'm so witty. You come to a crossroad, there's something in the dark. You can hear it moving beside the bushes and trees. Should we go left or go right? Let's go right. Right is right, guys. Remember that. Daddy? As you follow the path, you encounter a child standing in the middle of the road. It's your son. He is crying. His eyelids are sewed with barbed wire. That's just creepy. Oh my god. Let's rescue him then. But how are we going to rescue him if he's just standing there? We're not really going to rescue him. But then again, I guess his eyes are sewn. Whoa! As you move towards your mutilated child, a runic barrier flashes before you. Barbed wire spew from your son's eyes, quickly covering his whole body. That's... This game is really dark. 
it's really well made though. I can't believe this is a free game on Game Jolt. This is something that I would pay money for. Okay, so there's nothing I can click on here. I'm really trying my best to click on stuff because this game's supposed to trick you. And so I'm just, I guess we just gotta turn around and leave then. What if I try to rescue him again? You cannot force yourself to cross the barrier, I'm helpless. Daddy, why won't you help me? Daddy, I'm scared, it hurts so much. Well, I'm sorry, just learn to deal with the barbed wire, okay? It's gonna be your new piercing, son. <laughs> That's terrible. Through the bushes and trees, you come across a small cottage. A presence is walking around in the house, ensuring no one will pass. Well, let's talk to this creature. Take a step forward, the creature instantly blinks right in front of you, inches away from your face. It doesn't interact, but all its eyes stare at you. You feel uneasy. Can I click on any of these? Nope. Let's talk to it again. And we get the same thing. Okay, let's just try to swivel on by him here. Hey! I guess swiveling on by was a bad idea. Suddenly you find yourself in a weird void. I am pride. Bow before me. Kneel and beg. Ask for forgiveness. Speak, you disgusting maggot. Describe what a wretched pool of vomit you are. Go to hell, that's it. We gotta stand up against people like this. <laughs> We are in hell, silly willy. Your own private personal hell. <laughs> I imagine I'm talking with like a deep dark voice like, We are in hell, silly willy. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll say I am stupid then. Of course you are, you are a brainless, mindless bag of meat and bones. Well, Jesus pride, I'm trying to suck up my pride here. And you're just, uh, you're not making this easy. You want more? My mother never loved me. <laughs> you bet she didn't. You are a disgrace, you ruined her life. I have no future! Oh, of course you have, and a bright one. You'll live doing pointless things and you'll die, leaving behind nothing but rotting meat and bones. You'll die unmissed, unnoticed. I'm weak and miserable. Huh, what? Can you repeat that? I, Jesus, get some ears there, little pride, you silly willy. What did you say? Say it louder, I can't hear you. I said louder. That's the spirit, ready to die? No, go to hell. Oh, you're gonna say the same thing. Fine, I'm ready to die. Just kill me. Then I grant you your death. You are now free from me for a time. Broken and bleeding, crawling at the bottom. Now you have the chance to rise beyond. See you soon. Die. <laughs> I love how that's an option. Just die. I have no choice. Now I'm back at the beginning. Oh, God damn it. You know what? I have a feeling that we're supposed to go into this house as he's not blocking our path. There we go, because when we talk to him, he's blocking our path. We try to go into the house and he stops us. That's cool. Interior is a mess. There is moss on the walls and most of the furniture is rotten. Oh, an old lady walking back and forth. You can smell the metallic scent of blood from her. I want to talk to her. Oh, there we go. There are pests in my basement. Bring me their teeth and I will share some secrets with you. I need at least ten. Let's go to the basement. Whoa, there are maggots everywhere. It stinks in here. You have zero maggots teeth. Okay, cool. We just click on them. Yeah! That's right. Blood and destruction, you maggots. Crawl along the ground where you belong and I'm just gonna make you explode. <laughs> Why are you walking across my path when I've killed so many of your friends already? You guys are stupid, you stupid little maggots. Okay, so let's give teeth. You never had a son. Alright, so the sun over there is obviously just trying to lure us into there and trick us then. Okay, thanks for the tip. I love it how that's a tip. Why is that a tip? I thought we would know something like that, like, oh yeah, I guess I didn't conceive a sun. Fire will not harm the messenger of water. Well, no shit. That's like if some water god came out and like, yeah, and like threw a match at it, it wouldn't do shit. Okay, the only place we haven't gone is at the initial place right here. We go right. You enter a hallway. There are dozens of doors on both sides of the corridor. At the end, you see a wall of water. Let's observe it. I think going forward would be our sudden demise. The liquid wall is still far away. Corridor is silent. You hear only your own breathing. Well, that's good. Let's go forward then. You move deeper into the hallway. As you step, all the doors burst into violent knocking and bumping. You feel endangered. Well, let's observe this noise. It says the same thing. Let's go forward. Move deeper into the hallway. As you step, all the doors burst. Let's go forward again. Oh, jeez. Shadowy being manifests in front of you and quickly starts tearing you body like paper. You die in agony. Robert being butchered alive. Why does it say, oh, I guess Robert and William. That's Robert means William. Okay. Click to restart. Oh, balls to my face. Okay, I got some more of these teeth on my next playthrough. Devil doesn't exist, neither does God. There's only one cosmic being who has worse and better days. Try to stick to his good side and avoid the other. That's a good idea. If there is a cosmic being out there that controls that kind of thing, then I'll try to stay on his good side. Savior comes to those rich with patience. Okay, good. Have patience. That's, that's great. Thanks for the hint. 
Okay, guys, I think I have a feeling I know what I gotta do here. So it says you enter a uh, hallway, there are dozens of doors, and it's a silent hallway, so we step forward. As the noise is going on, we wait. Wait. Stop it, noise. Is this, is this actually gonna work? Okay, no noise. Step forward. There we go. So I think what happens is when we step forward, we're like going forward. We're inching our way towards the exit or something. Because this is like the only way I haven't gone. I can't click on any of these doors either. I'm always searching around for things I can click on. But it says we're moving deeper every time you move deeper. Like it doesn't say like you can't progress. There we go! Holy shit! You are underwater at the bottom. Surprise, you discover that you can breathe. Water is strangely thick like fresh jelly. It also has a very foul taste. Well, that's weird. It sounds pretty cool. Let's swim up. The beach is covered with dead bodies. You notice none of them have a face, just numbers burned into their skin. Where the face was supposed to be, your clothes are dripping wet. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So there's numbers where they're supposed to be. Now remember, there's that password 3301. We gotta remember that. So should I follow the beach or go to the jungle? I think the beach will have some interesting- Holy crap! Remember, there are no gods and demons, just a cosmic being. That's important. An archangel stands by the water. I've killed them all, so I could go to heaven. I can take you with me if you'd like. Well, let's talk with him a little bit. I am lazy, but violence and pain motivate me. If you want me to flap my wings and fly, you need to hurt me. Don't worry, I enjoy it. Can I click on any part of you? Let's talk with you more. Oh, he just says the same thing. Okay, I, there's nothing I Wow, my god, I did- <laughs> I didn't know that clicking on him was gonna do that! I thought harder, harder, oh! <laughs> oh god, yeah, you are a masochist, holy shit! Oh, baby! <laughs> oh my god, if I can just click it on his dick, like, right around his waist, and he's like, oh baby, yes! Oh god, yes, yeah, spill- I want more, harder! Okay. I, I, I feel like I'm not really doing much. Can I? If you want me to flap my wings and fly, you need to hurt me. S I like, okay, look at this. <laughs> Smack me like one of your French girls. <laughs> oh, this game is entertaining as fuck. I'm so glad I found this. Uh, let's just go to the next one. Let's go to the jungle. Vegetation is very dense here. As you go through bushes and vines, you spot a friendly snake. Hello, kind sir. Would you like to pet me? That sounds like the worst idea I've ever had in my entire life, but I want to try it. Pet the snake. As you pet the snake, it suddenly sinks his fangs into your hand. The toxin is deadly and you quickly die, Daniel. I have so many names. <laughs> With black blood bursting out of your mouth. That's fucking great. I got poisoned. That's what happens when you try to be nice. Nice guys finish last. Okay, Mr. Snake, you're a dick. We're gonna go to the deeper into the jungle. A tall wall rises in front of you. It has a gap. Which you can use to get to the other side, but there is a weird fire burning which blocks the way. Walk through the fire. Yeah, like that's gonna work, walking through the fire. Congratulations, game. Well, what am I supposed to do? Is there anything to click on? I feel like I've exhausted all of my options. Like, this is like the last place. Oh, there we go! Finally! Oh, Jesus, that's just what I needed. Okay, holy shit, you gotta click on that a lot. So that took a long time. <laughs> You are in heaven, but there is no heaven. Gates are closed and Cicada guards the entrance. You hear a voice in your head. You've won. Await our arrival. Fall down. What is this place? We are. Three, three, zero, and one. That's the hint we got. This is the land of rust and moss. His domain. Hidden under thin skin of reality. No one comes in. No one gets out. The name is the key, but there's no keyhole. Yeah, it's 3301, but what does that have to do with anything? Is there anything I can click on here? Well, let's just fall down then. Fuck. Fine. 3301. I gotta use that somewhere, 3301. Okay, so our clothes are dripping wet, so let's go to the jungle. Go deeper in the jungle. Maybe we can walk through the fire. You take a step into the fire and you start burning. You take off your burning clothes, but the fire is like glued to your body. You die a painful death. God damn it, I thought because our clothes were wet, maybe we could go through there. Ah, what the fuck? How do we get through there? Okay, that is complete bullshit. I thought I did that before um, on the beach. I thought that I was going through here with wet clothes. But here it says, your wet clothes protect you from fire. The flame dies behind you as you cross the passage. So I guess there's like a timer or something. When you come out of the water, you need to quickly like go through here. That's just dumb. Well, uh, I don't know what happened, but when I was out there before, it said I had wet clothes, and I thought I'd be okay. But at least we can progress now. That took me a while to figure out. 
So we can go left of the desert or go right to the swamp or go back to the jungle. Let's go right is right, guys. Remember, right is right. Let's go that way. Swamp sells facial and sulfur. The stench almost makes you vomit, and you have this weird feeling in the back of your head like someone's watching. They need to really spell check this shit. Okay, so now, one of the hints um, at the Tooth Fairy's place that I got is I got a lot of the hints. Like, I ended up collecting like 60 of them just to see what they were. Are that there's like small little hidden things in the swamp or something near here. So let's just like... No. Oh, there we go. See, there is. He, 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 he. He or she, is there anything else? Was there just really one of them? Er, er, here. He, er. Okay, that's not going to help us. What the hell? Okay, he, burr, he, burr. The eye maggot screams merge in your ears into one. Ancient word, Heber Heber. Okay, or Heber or something if it's an ancient word. Okay, let's keep going. That's going to be useful. You see a huge snake being. A powerful aura of lust and desire surrounds her. Hello, handsome. Let's play a game. You'll give me my name and I'll give you his name. Okay, there we go. So the name is Heber. Because I remember in one of the hints it said like these things, the small little creatures, have the name of the serpent, right? So, okay, Heber. Good, Heber laughs. But I lied. I forgot in his name. We all did, because he did. Maybe Cicada will tell, will know. Tell him I've sent you. You can find them in heaven. Okay, good. So I can go back to heaven and tell them that the serpent sent us. That's good. I was wondering what in the hell to do in heaven. Seriously, I was trying all kinds of combinations of doing things like, oh, what? Oh, Jesus, the savior! Looks like you found a secret way to free yourself from this nightmare. What? What? Oh, what? What the fuck was that? Oh, Jesus, savior got eaten by evil Pax Hayden. <laughs> oh my god, this game is has some really hilarious bits. Although, yeah, I'm sorry if you're religious. That's a, that's an image you didn't want to see. Okay, we're back in heaven, so now we can tell... Heber sent me. Heber, okay, there we go. Heber is a liar. She forces others to keep her promises. Escalion is the name, but the name lost his owner. Find him. Make him remember. Door number six. Cross no other. Okay. That's it. Door number six to find uh, some sort of rapscallion. Okay, let's go to the desert then. It's the only place we haven't gone, but we gotta jump in the water first. Otherwise, the jungle's gonna kill us. I'll walk through the fire and it freezes me. That's a song from the Buffy the Vampire Slayer musical. That's an awesome episode. Wind blows, pushing endless amount of sand through world. <laughs> they really needed to check some of this. You're on God's mercy. Go back or keep going? Uh, I guess we gotta keep going. Wind blows, pushing endless amount of sand through the world. Desert. Desert never changes. You've been traveling for 219... Oh, that escalated super quickly. 219 days went by pretty quick. You don't know how longer you can endure this journey. Sand. Everything is sand. You've been traveling for two years and 128 days. You're exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure, well, I guess c considering we are in this, like, representation of hell, we could do that and not, like, die, right? Okay. Sand, everything is sand. You've been traveling for four years and 136 days. That would sure be boring to travel that long. Sand, everything is sand. I mean, over this, it would take less time to walk around the world. I think some guy w walked across China in, like, I don't know, was it 90 days or something? Maybe a bit more? Sand, everything is sand. You've been traveling for six years and 246 days. You're exhausted. Sand, everything is sand. You've been, let's see, how long is this going to go on for? Okay, we've been just going for 28 years. Whatever. Nothing to see here. Whoa! You find yourself in the outskirts of a huge city. Ancient skyscrapers are towering over the horizon. So we just traveled for 40-something years. That didn't seem like 40-something years. Congratulations, character. 
I can't believe you lasted that long, but considering we already traveled for a few years, there would be no point in turning back. We'd have to walk years back anyways. I like how after 200 and something days, he's like, I don't know if I can continue on, but we did travel for like 40 something years. Okay, let's go to the city. Something awful happened here. You can smell rotting meat, but no bodies are to be found. The city is silent. You can feel strong tension in the air. Something is bound to happen. Well, there's two areas. Let's go to number one. Let's go to the sewers. You enter the sewers. Tunnel ends with a huge mouth, sticky, foul saliva is pouring from it, filling the canal. The other end turns down, you can jump in, but you have no idea where it leads. I had a bad feeling, but let's- we gotta try it. Come on, we gotta try it. Let's jump in. Looks- yeah, it looks like there's a big mouth there. That's kind of crazy, huh? You are underwater at the bottom- oh, are we back here? We are! Oh, I see. That's how we get back to this area if we need to. Alright then. Okay. So we can come back here if we have some unfinished beeswax. And let's just walk- okay, good, we just walked another 40-something years. Man, how depressing would that be? We're like in the tunnel in the sewers, and then we jump down and we're back to where we were and we're like, oh, I gotta walk back 40-something years to get back there? No! Now we're, we've been walking for 80-plus years. Great. Okay, let's go to the hospital. Hospital's ruined. You spot some movement in one of the windows on upper floor. Fountain nearby has some black ooze at the bottom. This place gives you the creeps. Inspect the ooze. The fluid is pitch black like tar. There are hairs floating in the surface. Let's go inside. Corridor is very cold and thin. There is a trail of blood leading further. The floor is covered with odd-looking worms. Is it like the maggots? Oh, they're different though. Worms and maggots are different. Those are not worms. They are cut off fingers. There are a dozen of them all wiggling and moving. That's gross. You enter a small room with three doors labeled 17, 9, and 3. You can sense someone is standing on the other side of each door, waiting. A strong sensation of danger fills this place, so we gotta be careful. But remember what they told us? They said we gotta enter door number 6. But there is no 6. There's just 17. But there could be a 6. <laughs> oh! I, for some reason, the puzzles at the beginning of the game were giving me a harder time than now. Okay, let's look around and see what it says. As you inspect the room, you notice the writing on the ceiling. This isn't game, this is real. Well, let's go in here. This is the only way. I kind of want to get a bad ending and see that, but I kind of don't want to at the same time. Okay, let's just go into door number six. You enter a void of white flames and light. There is a giant being standing before you. Fire shrouds him entirely. Yet he suffers no harm. He gazes at something above with arms wide open. Are you God? Being sp Spoken with passion, his voice is gentle and warm. Partially, I am everything what's good in him, and I am dying. Say my name. Okay. Your name is... God's eyes open wider. A shy spark of hope glitters inside. Feels like the time has stopped, and every particle of existence holds its breath, awaiting. What do I do? <sighs> okay, well, there's no option to put his name in. What was it again? There's something about rapscallions. Oh my god, we actually have to type it in. It was Escalion? Was it Escalion? Ugh. L I O N? That's it! Oh my god, I freeze! God, I'm so glad I remembered that. I usually suck at remembering names. This, this is. Thank you, thank you so very much, because... Because why? This is not a game. You could have fooled me. Programming my fingers. pro gaming. Game idea, my boredom. Okay, so that's the end, creepy eyes. Why are you looking at me? Remember, there isn't God, there's just the being that controls the cosmos. So that was the cosmic being, I guess. The most similar thing to God that we found. Okay. Is that it? This is just... Did we escape hell? This game is hard as fuck. You can consider reading this text a huge achievement. Now hold your thumbs for my sake. Because making games even such as this is even more challenging. But I want to keep making them. I hope one day I'll succeed. But the odds are strong and almost all against me. Thanks for playing Akuda. Well, you know what? Considering this person said that was the first game they've ever ma uh, made, 
this game is much better than a lot of the indie horror, indie adventure point and click games that come out on Game Jolts. Like, a lot of the people that make first attempts um, don't put in this much effort into their games. This was like, it was really well done. Um, so yeah, kudos to you for making such a sweet game like this on your first attempt at making a game. That's pretty badass. So congratulations to you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more games like this, more like horror point and clicks, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I had a really good time with it. Sometimes I like to just relax and not play stressful, really difficult games. Just relax to a point and click like this if it's interesting. And this one was quite interesting. It was like a journey. It was like a journey through hell. And uh, it was it was pretty damn cool. And some of the imagery was really, really good and really well done. And uh, yeah, the, the creator did a little, uh, did a little, did a really good job at wor uh, world building. God, I can't talk all of a sudden. Did a really good job at world building, and I thoroughly enjoyed my time with this game. And it was it was really good. It was really creepy, and had some and had some really funny moments too. And I love games that don't take themselves too seriously, that allow themselves to be quite funny at parts. And so uh, yeah, it was just it was really nice. So uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you in future videos on the channel. And as always, guys, peace.